Hi guys, so today's set is a February birthday set, or birthstone, kind of amethysty in any case, it's it's purple this time, and purple is my favourite colour and amethyst is my favourite stone. Please ignore the terrible sounding voice, I am full of the stupid coldy flu bug that is going around, which is why I sound like I do and why I haven't posted in the last week because normally I do my videos on a Tuesday and a Thursday don't I in post but I just haven't felt up to it so today's sets I'm doing on the express long stiletto tips by Rachel Wilders and I've picked out my sizes already and I'm using the Hema free gel to attach them with um I'm in her products group on Facebook she, she's got some really fantastic new launches at the moment of gel polishes um, and I got these on on offer and they are absolutely awesome they go on really nice and the glue is quite a nice thick texture as well not too runny um, so yeah how have you all been hope you're all doing well oh. I am just relaxing on the couch while doing a voiceover because I have a rather noisy house today so I was not going to be able to talk while filming today that just wasn't going to happen so I am just filming the points off of these just to make them a little less sharp because obviously I am a no nail or a very very short nail so they're nice and smooth and this one is going to be done using a bunch of different shades of purple um, in gel polish um, some chrome and a whole bunch of different flakes. I'm going to do it kind of like the um, mm, like the celestial nails I did, and that's a beautiful purple from Nail Me. I'm using as the base, so I'm going to try and do it like the celestial nails. Um, so, although it's a birthstone nail for February, it technically doesn't look like amethyst. But it's, it's amethyst colours, so I'm going with it. So I'm just going to put a base layer of this down, just a thin layer. Because this is going to be done all in gel polishes. And then I will cure that. And then I will go in with the rest. Okay, so that has been cured and I'm going in now with a purple this one I do believe is a glitterama or EL nail systems and is burlesque and I have some a tiny bit of acetone and an old brush in a dappen dish and I'm going to use that to blend the edges so I'm not going to ramble on all the way through today's video like I normally do because my throat is not happy and I keep getting stupid tickles in the back of my throat, which are making me cough everywhere. The problem is, is the tickles seem to be right on my sick spot in my throat, so it's not ending very nicely for me right now. There just seems to be so many cold and flu bugs going around. They're downing everybody lately. Oh, but yeah, I wanted nice, pretty purple nails. Um, I do only keep these on for, for this filming, and then I do pop them off. But I do have plans to paint mine later on tonight because February is my birthday. Um, tomorrow is actually my birthday. And I would like some pretty nails for my birthday. I think I'm going to have the same gold on it as I do in this. It, these nails end up a mix of purple and gold. Um, I did want purple and silver. But I couldn't find my silver chrome. And I was really, really good today as well. I sat on the chair and cleaned out the mess that I make of my trolley and I still didn't find it so I've been in with the purple and a bit of acetone to blend out the edges and now I'm going in with a lighter shade this one is also a glitterama slash EL nail systems one it's called tulip I quite like this one it's a nice lilac color now I don't have a lot of acetone on my brush at this point I just keep wiping my brush off I just want to 
dab all the ends in a little bit just so they're not quite so blunt but I just wanted like I don't know because I had like a bunch of different visions in my head of how I wanted these nails to be and they're kind of a mishmash of them all at this point but I just wanted them to be all purpley and silvery but there's no silvery and I did have plans to decorate them with a ton of gems as well but by the time I'd finished filming I was absolutely shattered so I put my stuff away Shh, I've had half an hour on the couch just to chill out a little bit and now I am editing because as you have to try, I want to try and keep the same schedule of posting the same day I film. It's, it's ridiculous how I have, I've been at work all week. I've, I've still gone into work. Although, honestly, I felt like roadkill by the time I've got home. But it's ridiculous how today I've gone up and just sitting on the chair and doing nails has just tired me out. <sighs> but it's just one of those. So... Please ignore Chippy, he's sat next to me. He's been a little whiny pants today too. So I am adding here into the tacky layers from, from the cure gel. Um, a gazillion and one different kinds of flakes. These are the purple ones. I am honestly not sure where I got these from, but I am going to go back through my Timu and Sheen orders and see if it was from there because they were really, really nice shade. Um, and these ones were from Kylie Aweri. And I decided just to dib dab random patches of random colours. Because they should show through along with some of the glitter on the base. You know where I've thinned out the paint. Just to add a little, a little texture. And I do go in here with one of the sheer polishes from a team of water. It's the Mi Maya Mia or the Mia Maya. Um the 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 polishes. Um I used them on some teddy bear nails quite a while back. They are sheer when um shiny top coated and opaque when matte top coated. But I thought I could just add a few more layers of colour into there because it's semi sheer, so you can still see see what is under it but some of the flakes in certain lights instead of the colors you want to see it shows like the like ugly yellow patches and i thought having the sheer over that i'd kind of get rid of that so i cured that <clears throat> and now i'm going in with this is the brill bed brush and go white gel pin and i'm just going in with a fine liner and then my very cheap old knackered brush so it can deal with the acetone and like i did on the rose quartz nails i am just dabbing out the um the white lines to blend them just for another another little added depth my first idea for february nails was like all blinged out full for full jemmy like amethyst geode nails um i even thought about ordering in, in one of my previous orders i think i did a haul video on i've got like some of those like you know like the little um the like the little gold rocks and chunks that you can get where they're like little colored like i don't know pebbly things um i've seen those in like a dark brownie black I thought about ordering some of those and doing like an outline around the nail so you know like the outside dull part of a geode and then purple gel polish in the inside of my nail and pixie crystal in it so it actually look like I'm with this crystal but then I thought if I decided to keep them on they would drive me insane and then I forgot to order them and it's practically the end of February so that was never going to happen and then 
this one kind of ended up as just a mishmash. Now these I got in a set a, a very while ago actually. Um, this was also a team in washing for that matter. And they came in a set of like nine different ones and they are flaky top coats. I've just picked the one with shades of purple in. There's like flakes and glitters and I just wanted to add even more something extra. I like purples, I like sparkles and I like amethyst. So they're all going in this set. So is it, that is it cured. And I'm going in with a matte top coat. Because I'm going to be chroming. And I, with them being on the, the peel off base coat just in case. I didn't want to be filing. That's why the nails are a little lumpy on a person. I would have you know buffed them off smooth. Right, for now I'm just going to go in with the matte top coat. Honestly, they look stunning like this. I kind of wish part of me had have just left them like this rather than continuing on with more design. So this is just a normal black gel paint, uh, a no-wipe one, which is why I can take the chrome. Sometimes a lesson I still need to learn with nails is when to leave them alone because sometimes you see little bits and you add more and you add more and then you're like, huh. Well, you've done it now already, so there's not really anything doing it. But, yeah, I quite like them as they are. I like them as they are when they're finished. Don't get me wrong. But I kind of like them the way they're looking right now, too. You'll have to let me know what you think in the comments. So I just cured that for 30 seconds and then I'm going in with the Honochrome, the one I only need like the tiniest bit of. I'm just going to rub that in and then I filmed myself doing the, the other little bits as well so they will pop up next. But I just paint the design in black gel paint and cure for 30. The paint is a, a, a 60 second cure. Um, but I like to just make sure so it, it does go back in the lamp. So that's most of the design done and chromed. 
see they did start out as amethyst nails and then they just kind of evolved devolved into something completely different but i definitely still like them i just have trouble at the end deciding whether i actually do prefer the matte or shiny top coat and i have that issue a lot with some nails see i like the shiny chrome but i like I like the way you can see the different layers more with the matte top coat than you kind of can with the shiny. But in any case, there's pictures of both up anyway, so thank you all for staying with me um, and listening to me sniffle along with my terrible sounding voice at the moment. Hope you enjoy February's birthstone set, even though they kind of devolved from amethyst into something else. Um, and thank you all for watching. If you've enjoyed, please leave a like. And if you aren't already, please subscribe and tap the bell to see when I have new videos released. They are usually a lot more often than they have been this week. I'll see you all soon, guys. Bye.